Hi friends, this reflections for the 21st Sunday of Ordinary Time. Now, how often have we encountered people that say, I'm Catholic, but I was Catholic, I used to be Catholic. How often have we heard that phrase, I was, I used to be, I'm no longer. And every once in a while, and every now and again, when we ask that question, we get these petty excuses. Well, I don't, you know, this, that, and everything. It goes to show that our culture has abandoned God. We have forgotten who God is. We don't know who he is. People chase after false ambitions and don't place our trust in God. I think it goes without saying that our culture is telling us the definition of what a good person is instead of relying on Christ who tells us what a good person is. Our culture has redefined everything that God created. He redefined marriage. He redefined freedom. And the culture has hijacked freedom in the form of freedom of choice. Freedom, reproductive freedom. The free to marry someone of the same sex. Freedom to pursue transgender rights. This is our culture, by the way. But God reminds us that's not what freedom is. Rather, freedom is to pursue God. Ronald Reagan once said that freedom is no more than a generation away from ex of extin ex extinction. Tongue twister right there. And he's right. There's a there's a false kind, there's a right freedom and there's a false freedom. What the media tells you about freedom of choice, you know, freedom of this, freedom of that. That's not freedom. It's slavery. You are enslaved by the devil. You need to be free. Free to pursue God. Free from what the devil says about you, free from all these false things that will compromise your soul. I think it goes without saying, too, that we do have a couple of politically incorrect statements here that really challenges what our culture says. First and foremost, in St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, he talks about the role of Husbands in marriage. They are supposed to be the head of the household. They are the leaders. They are the providers. And women. Now, this has been taken out of proportion time after time, believe me. Women. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, do I have to, like, women think, like, oh, is this trying to enslave me or something? No. This is to remind us what the purpose of marriage is. Where is the wife in all of this? Where is she? And where is the husband? Bottom line, the husband is the head. Head of the household. And it's the leader. Without the leader, without the man of faith, the marriage collapses. Two. Why are so many people leaving the church? It's because they don't believe that Jesus has the words of eternal life. Words that tells us how do we live out our faith. In our culture today, friends, we need faithful witnesses. We need those that are willing to step into the breach. We need faithful witnesses to 
to serve the Lord, as we are reminded in the book of Joshua. And bear in mind, if we don't serve the Lord now, we will never serve him in the next life. God calls us to be faithful to him. In the last few weeks, we've noticed that many people leave. Many people are saying, I, can't, I don't think I can do this. You know, whatever, all these excuses. And it, it, those words permeate to those who have fallen away from the faith, who are seeking answers, who are pursuing who are pursuing false ambitions. God should be at the center of our lives. He wants us to trust him. Not some airhead on the main on CNN or MSNBC or anything like that. God wants us to put our faith in him. And our culture today has gotten things wrong. They keep redefining things, not just what the God created, but the true definition of words. Look at what they've done to J.D. Vance recently. You know, they're saying he's weird because he married someone that's Indian. He has three children. He's a veteran. And he's Catholic. Well, last time I checked, if you if anyone was the true definition of weird, look at how supporters of the Democratic Party acted during the convention that happened in Chicago. Weird is people that dress, the men dress like women and try to compete in women's sports and make, you know, make fools of themselves. Weird to me is someone that wears a mask out in public all day. But yeah, that look, you remember that little face diaper you were forced to wear without your consent? Yeah, I remember that quite well. That was weird. I think the other thing, too, is we need God back in our lives. For the last six decades, God has disappeared. But I can guarantee you, he's fully alive. As a matter of fact, he still lives compared to the founder of communism. In all flawed, famous people of history, God is still alive. But he lives in you. So friends, let us put our faith in Jesus because he has the words of eternal life. God bless.